Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The course we are studying is Statistics and Probability Theory with course code MTH262. In this course, we will study Introduction to Statistics, Frequency Distribution and Representation of Data. That how to convert the ungrouped data into group data and how to represent it uh, either in form of, of a frequency distribution or in the form of a graph or charts. Measure of central tendency. In measure of central tendency, we will study uh, the types of averages in which uh, we will learn how to calculate mean, median, mod, and uh, quartiles, deciles, percentiles as well, uh, which are included in measure of non-central tendency, and measure of dispersion in which we will study that how much the data is dispersed around the mean. Probability theory, in which we will study the counting rules, which include multiplicative rule, permutation, combination, conditional probability, total law of probability, independent and dependent events, and base rule. Discrete and continuous random variable, probability distribution function, probability density function, Cumulative distributions, joint probability distribution and marginal distribution. And we will study some distributions as well which include uniform, binomial, Poisson, geometric, normal, gamma, exponential, hypergeometric distribution as well. Simple linear regression and fitting of curves and correlations. Learning Outcomes After successful completion of this course, a student should be able to define statistics, classify and represent the data, calculate and interpret measure of central tendency and measure of dispersion, define and calculate probabilities, Work with random variables and various probability distribution. Apply various statistical techniques like regression analysis and correlation, etc. So, these will be the learning outcome of this particular course which we will want to study. So, what is statistics? Statistics. Statistics is basically the game of numbers or you can say that it depends on the numerical data. If we formally defined it then its definition would be statistics is an art or science used for the collection. Collection is the very first stage that how would you collect the data Presentation, how to represent the data, analysis, and interpretation of numerical data. So you can say that it is the collection, presentation, analysis, and interpretation of numerical data. So these are the stages of the statistics that how to collect the data, then how to represent it, then which tool of analysis should be used to uh, analyze the data and what is the finding of the, the analysis uh, which we will gonna interpret and the main focus is on the numerical data. Data should be in the form of a number so we can find out the outcome of our experiment. There are two branches of statistics. The first one is descriptive statistics. This word descriptive is basically 
from the word describe. So, this descriptive statistics would include collecting, summarizing, and processing data to transform data into information. So, basically, that descriptive statistics is the branch of statistics in which we describe the main features of the data by collecting it, summarizing it, and processing it. Inferential statistics. Inferential statistics provide the basis for predictions forecast and estimates that are used to transform information into knowledge. So basically in this part we collect, summarize and process the data and in this part we basically uh, provide the judgment uh, on the effort we have done in this branch of statistics which is descriptive statistics. Example of descriptive and inferential statistics. Descriptive statistics. It would include graphical, numerical, and relationships like correlation and regression analysis. In graphical representation, it will arrange the data in the tables and uh, we will have the different graphs or diagrams which would be bar chart, pie chart, component bar chart and uh, a lot of graphs we can have to represent the data. Uh, if you said the numerical representation, then we can find out the percent percentages, averages, range, and descriptive statistics also includes correlation coefficient and regression analysis. Uh, we will learn what this term is really is. Uh, in upcoming lectures. Inferential statistics, confidence interval, margin of error, compared means of two samples, uh, which uh, usually include the testing, compare means from three samples, uh, which include the ANOVA as well. In your course, we will basically uh, depend on this part of the statistics and we will learn about the descriptive statistics.